Good morning, I'm Karina Rosero, business management and marketing student at London Met. And in this first video, I'm going to talk about the skills and knowledge that I learned through my role as a housekeeping supervisor in the student accommodations of Queen's Mary University. The student accommodations of Queen's Mary University are running as a hotel during the summertime. I'm in charge of Vermont Court building that consists of 200 rooms. And my main task is to ensure that all the arrivals and departures are ready on time. In this video, I will address and achieve the learning goals 1.1 that refers to how vital is the customer service in the hospitality industry and the learning goals 1.2 and 1.5 that refers to how developing my leadership skills and the continuous improvement in the communication and time management skills have increased my confidence, allowing me to perform the tasks before the deadline. Regarding to the knowledge acquired, I need to talk about the total quality management approach. CARE 1988 states that the total quality management approach is focused on the quality because it's the key for the success and is based on the satisfying and exceeding the customer needs. What I learned as a supervisor is that the quality has a very great importance in the hospitality industry, mainly because the hospitality industry is very complex, dynamic and global. Similarly, well, that's why, similarly, Holsen 1988 states that the firms like a hotels need to be service quality leaders, orientating themselves towards maintaining consistent levels of high quality service at both organizational and functional levels. On the other hand, one of the knowledge that I applied at my work and learned from my fundamentals management module was that the social factors within a group have a major influence in the employee performance, even more than just monetary incentives. One clear example of that is that one guest left us a note saying that she was so delighted with the service provided that she would come back soon and even give her give us a tip of five pounds it motivated us to me and my team to work even harder and together to get more of this type of acknowledgement therefore i understood that the customer service is especially important when you're working in a people industry because when you have the direct contact with the customer you're the last responsible of provoking a positive experience Moving towards the transferable skills that I gained, I'm going to talk about the communication. The communication is the most important and most used of all of the skills in the hospitality and tourism industry. As a supervisor, I've learned that a communication is extremely vital for the right functioning of the business. I've spent a great part of my time communicating the orders that I received from my manager and delivering to my team. I communicated always with my manager to know the number of arrivals that needs to be ready at the end of the day and the specific number of rooms that are occupied and needs to be provided with the daily service. Likewise, I've learned that a good communication is a must for attending properly the customer request. I push myself to improve my communication skills because thanks to this role, I found out that I have difficulties to express myself in a clear and a conscious way. This weakness brought me a lot of misunderstandings when I organized in my team. A clear example of my problem with my communication was my first complaint. My first complaint was when my manager called me and told me why I didn't prepare the room D in the flat 25. The problem was 
because the room shows in my list as arrival and departure, which means that the old guests had to check out at 10 o'clock in the morning and the new guests had to arrive at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. However, I didn't prepare the room because I found the property guest in the room and the guest wasn't there, so I couldn't touch anything. By my own initiative, I went to reception and I asked them why the guests hadn't checked out yet. And they told me that probably because the same person who was who check in and check out, which means that the guests stay longer. Assuming that this information was right, I just decided to leave, decided to leave the room for the next day. And I didn't report anything to my manager because I thought that everything was right. However, my manager complains me more for not asking help and reporting these kind of issues rather than just for not setting the room. Another important skill that I gained is the time management. At the beginning, I wasn't able to split the work equally and organize my team according with the number of the arrivals because I didn't have the control of the time spent in each room. Therefore, sometimes we spend too much time in the daily service that we didn't have enough time to do the arrivals properly. However, after figuring out the maximum time that we have to spend in each room, allocating 30 minutes for arrival and 8 minutes for daily service, my team becomes more efficient and productive. Moreover, some people work slower than others, so I train them to increase their working pace, making them aware of the limited time that we have for the specific task. That's how I learn and achieve my learning goals 1.2 and 1.5.